In this video, I am going to show you how to install WordPress on localhost using WAMP server. If you are hearing it for the first time, WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP. There are other options also like XAMPP and Bitnami WordPress. But today we will see how to do it with WAMP on Windows. So go to wampserver.com scroll down and you can see the download buttons for 64 bit and 32 bit operating systems click the correct option and start downloading the executable file the downloaded file will be around 286 megabytes let us run it select the language then accept the license agreement to continue the next step is very important. Before proceeding, ensure that you have all the essential Visual C++ components installed. Without those, WAMP may not work properly. Scroll down and you can see the links to the packages. Download and install each of them. Finally, open control panel to verify it from the list of programs. Another important thing is, you should disable Skype or any other program that works on port number 80. Because when you launch localhost, the Apache server will be listening on port 80 by default. So nothing else can take up that port. When everything is ok, let us continue. Select where you want to install WAMP. Here I am selecting D directory. Inside that, make a new folder called WAMP64. Click OK. And then click install. It takes a while to complete. Meanwhile, you will see a quick info about how WAMP works. Once the installation is complete, click finish to exit setup. Now let us launch the program. In the window system tray, you will see a new icon in a red color. Click on it to open the pop-up menu, then click start all services. Now you can see the icon turning from red to yellow and finally green which means our localhost is running successfully. To check it, open your browser and go to HTTP localhost. You should see a page with all the server configuration details. The next step is downloading WordPress. For that, go to the WordPress website and get the latest zip package. Then unzip the package to the www folder inside our WAMP directory. Now it's time to set up a virtual host. 
It's not a necessity, but setting up one is a good idea. For that, we have to set up a redirect in the Windows host file. Run Notepad as administrator. and open the file located at C, Windows, System32, Drivers, etc. Now add this line at the bottom. If you don't know, 127.0.0.1 is called the loopback IP address. Now save it and close. Here we have pointed the name wordpress.local to the loopback IP so that Windows will send all the requests to our local host instead of sending it over the network. Then we have to set the same on Apache as well. For that open the httpd vhost file. It already contains an entry for the local host. We will just copy it below and edit it. Change the server name to wordpress.local and server alias to www.wordpress.local. Then change the directory names also to our wordpress location. For our vhost to take effect, we have to restart the WAM server. From the system tray, click restart all services. Next, we want to create a database. For that, log into phpMyAdmin. You can give the username as root and leave the password field empty. Give the database a name and click create. Now open the site in a browser to configure WordPress. Select a language and continue. Here we will connect the database we have created earlier. In the last step, provide more information like title, password and email. Then click install WordPress. Within a few seconds, your site will be installed. Finally, visit the new site by going to http wordpress.local. If you find this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials like this.